Rotobroach Magnetic Drill. That's a low profile Rotobroach Element 50 Magnetic Drill. We're getting into tight spaces. This one, not switching on. Power button that energizes the magnet won't stay on because this won't stay on, the motor won't start. This has to be on for the motor to start up. Right. Oh, one connector off to get that off of there. First problem, this wire's pulled off. Two connectors, which one did it come off of? Don't get an awful lot of rotor brooch in and I don't have a wiring diagram for them. Going by some of the older models. This is meant to be a power line up here. Normally, there's be one up there and one pan's empty down here. Now, other problem. Let my these boards go. You'll see a wee black mark somewhere. Something will pop. When it doesn't start like that, it's normally something simple. Somebody has nipped the wire, has been assembled properly. It's not the greatest design. It's hard enough to get all these wires on, mind you. But they should have some sort of straightener leaf here to stop the wires getting pinched. So that is the lead to the magnet. And it has now been pinched and broken. So that's why the magnet's not working. So we'll have to solder that. Should do. Now, I think that should be us sorted. And to put it back together without causing any more nips. One of these leads on both sides, not on the other side. So we run this redisplay. There's a voltage overload detector. It just tells you, gives you a visual display on how much current you're using or drawing, just in case you're overloading the machine. Line up to be good to go. Should be us. Looking better. So what's going on now? Power supply and the motor LED is on. 
All right. Magnus, still not coming on. This big one's a magnet. This is the motor. These lights only come on when the thing's switched on. So that should switch the magnet on. Pressing it. No, it's happening. Magnet's not coming on. LED's not coming on. The motor switch. LED is on. Indicating that the motor is on. But the motor can't start without the magnet. So that can't be right. Plus LED for the magnets also doing nothing. So this looks like a wiring problem. Which would be right enough seeing as there was a loose wire at the begin with. Maybe somebody already opened this, pulled all the wires out and just shoved them back on anyway. So we'll check the wiring. Three jobs like this I really hit. If you get it wrong you're going to blow something. Right, she's on a wiring loom. We rubbin connector. All white wires. You know, if you get a breakdown diagram for this, it's still just gonna say white wire to everything. Do you have marking indicators? But that'll just be from the factory. Nobody's gonna have anything on them. So under the main. Live your motor neutral and magnet, which would be right enough. These are just voltage overload protectors from these wee strips. They're not going to be anything. Controller's not burnt, fuse is okay. So I imagine that's going to be this wiring here. Now, getting the wiring diagram for this. I would say it's going to be near impossible unless they ring rotor brooch. But generally, when you're manufacturing something like this here, you want to start with the highest draw and finish with the lowest. So the LEDs are going to be the last thing to wire in, which these are. So that must be the end. See this ribbon connector split. So the next lowest two switches. This one is five points, this one is two points, so this is going to be an LED and switch together. This will be a switch and separate LEDs. So the next two should be an LED as well, which they're not. Right, so that's not right. And the first two sets of wires then should be motor and magnet switches. So the motor is the biggest draw. Those two should be the biggest. Start with the biggest power consumption. Which is right. Them three connectors on this switch in the middle. It's on, off and on. So two end ones she switched off. Push the button, switches these two on. The end one is on all the time. And then she pushed the button to switch it off. So that's right. Next two should be the magnet. For the magnet switch. Which it's not. So that's not right. And then the next two should be the LED. Which it's not. Right, so that should be an LED, which would be down here. It's got slack as well. And this should be the magnet switch. We hope and I. Yeah. So we'll go with that. So 
Make sure you're definitely not going to nup anything. There's a little tight space on there. Let's see if that fixes it. That's better. Magnet. That's better. Nice one. That was the problem. Broken sense wire for the magnet probably stopped the machine. So I'm going to pull it off the back cover, pull it all the wire in, and just put it back together any way they could. But it was wrong, so switches weren't activating correctly. That's her up and running again. Rotor brooch machines in general, quite good, quite well designed. They're a nice machine to use. Probably have the coolest display of any magnetic drill. Lots of lights and LEDs on them. All my metal switches as well, so they put a lot of effort onto these wee boards. But the wiring on them is quite complicated. Can throw you off very easily. So if you mess them up, you pull all the wires out. It's very difficult to get them wired back in again. Apart from that there, decent machine. Don't really give a lot of trouble on them. But that's how you rewire the board on the Element 50 anyway.